welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni and today we are gonna be doing some new makeup first impressions um, it's been a long time since I've actually played with this brand's makeup it's probably one of my first brands that I ever ventured out and tried they are a drugstore brand they are very reasonably priced their products are always so good I mean they have hits they have misses every brand has hits and misses but the majority of stuff that I've tried from them I've absolutely loved so I will tell you this brand always seems to amaze me they always have like the nicest products best formulas and they're so reasonably priced so the brand is essence we're gonna be doing a first impressions on quite a few items that um, I was able to purchase from Essence. Um, the only thing I didn't get, I have almost a complete full face. I just don't have complexion products. So everything else we do have. So let's get on to this video. If you're interested in seeing the new stuff that I got from Essence, go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water. You know, we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint and keep on watching. Okay, so Essence. We love Essence. Essence is probably one of the first brands that I ever tried out next to e.l.f. and Wet n Wild for makeup because they are so reasonably priced and their products are so good. Like, in the beginning, I was like, what kind of makeup am I going to use? Everything was so, you know, you kind of gravitate to the mainstream brands like L'Oreal, CoverGirl, Maybelline, Revlon, um, Milani was a big one. So those are all more expensive drugstore brands. You know, Physicians Formula is up there. Um, what's the other brand that's at the at the drugstore that's really big? I think those are most of the ones that are there. You know, Almay, Neutrogena. Those are higher priced drugstore brands. And I was just starting out and I was like, I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of money on makeup. So Essence was that brand that had a variety of products um, for a reasonable price. So I'm so excited because I haven't used, um, I mean I use every once in a while a couple of their things, like I'm obsessed with their Sun Club bronzer and I'm obsessed with their um, matte blushes, satin blushes, and um, I used to really use the their Volumist, I wanna say, mascara all the time and their eye pencils are long wearing and they're pigmented and they're pretty and I wear them on the waterline all the time now they recently had some new stuff that I was like oh I want to try them out um, I think the lip products were one of my first lipsticks that I ever bought outside of a Revlon lipstick that I had um, I was very very low maintenance makeup back in the day now not so much but I'm so excited so they have three I went and I picked up brow products from them there's three three different brow products that I um, got for me to try um, I'm so excited this is the essence micro precise brow eyebrow pencil it's waterproof and then this one here is the essence eyebrow pomade pencil which is super last waterproof 24 hours and then this one is the eyebrow pen it says semi-permanent and these are all in the color dark brown because um, I got dark hair. So let's try these out. So I think what I'm going to do is, because each one of these are for something different. So like the eyebrow pen is to create like those little hairs to kind of like look microbladed. Like if you've seen the new Benefit pen, it's like that. It has like those little edges. So I'm going to use that to create like my little brow hairs and then I'm gonna use the precise micro precise pencil to create my brow and then I'm gonna use the eyebrow pomade pencil to fill in my brows so let's get doing this because I feel like I'm talking like forever it's been like four minutes already okay you guys know that I hate to do my brows on camera because they take me forever in a day but let's try and see what we could do okay it's like my pony this is the new inh and lian v pony i am obsessed with it because it's just like a mid-length like pony and i just like think it's so pretty like so pretty i just feel so pretty when i have a high pony on i don't know why anyway and it snatches up my face which makes me look <laughs> all right 
let's get in here. So starting out with the micro pen, or excuse me, micro precise pencil. Let's go ahead and get this. The only thing I'm gonna say that I'm not fond of is that any of, none of these have a spoolie on the end, and I'm like a girl that's used to a pencil that has a spoolie. So good thing I have one, and I can just, even though my hairs don't really go anywhere, but I like to lift the hairs. As you can see, like my hairs are like, it's just like a thin line. I know you're like, Yanni, what are you doing? But I like to me to be able to get on the very bottom of my little hairs. Eventually, maybe one day, I will get my eyebrows microbladed, like when I have some spare money. I don't have spare money right now. Eventually, a few years from now, possibly. For now, we're going to just work with what we got. So let's go. Oh, this is super creamy. Like, very creamy. And I know you guys are like, why are you starting in the front? Because that's just the way I do my brows. This is very creamy. This actually reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Micro, excuse me, the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil, which is like my favorite pencil of them all. It's just smaller because it doesn't have a spoolie on the end, so that's what's the difference that I can see. I feel like it's super creamy so I don't want to like put too much of the pencil out because it'll like break because I've had pencils be way too creamy okay so we've mapped our brows and exactly that so I lifted the the it's retractable so I lifted it a little bit more just to see if it would give me a little bit better of a uh, traction and of course I did lift it and it did break so that's that type this is that type of pencil it's very creamy you should be very very careful when you use it because it will break very easily I know I look really weird but we're just we're just working next we're gonna go in with the essence super last eyebrow pomade pencil so with this one, it has a sharpener on one end, and then it also has this little, like, it's almost like a brush. So I guess we use this to kind of, like, we fill and then brush this tip through. We're going to try that. This is the tip to this one. See, it looks more like an eye, um, an eyeliner. So let's go ahead and see if that's going to work. It is creamy like a pomade. Um, I'm not sure. This is in. This isn't the color dark brown. It just doesn't look as dark as I thought it was going to look. I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to take now this side and let me see if this like, helps to distribute product maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not really liking. Do you hear that? It is like super raining, like super horrible thunderstorm right now. I don't know if I like this little brush thing. Where's my spoolie? I'm just gonna take this and kinda like, I just don't think that anything but a spoolie works best. And even with the spoolie, like running the spoolie, it took like most of that pomade off. So, I would say it is a no for me on this product. This pencil is a Nizzo. Like, no. Yeah, no. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill the other one with this because obviously I already did it on this side. I gotta do it on the other side. Be right. Back. But with the eyebrow pen, let's see if this salvages anything. So far, we're two for two on a pass. Oh, okay. This might be like salvaging things. Okay, so we have a winner. This I can mess with. This I like a lot, like a lot. I really like the way that it makes it look like I have individual brow hairs. I I really like this. Okay. I was going to say, it has to be one product that I might like. And this is definitely it. Okay, okay. So let's see if we can do this on the other eye. Oh, I like this a lot. It gives me the ability to make those little brow hairs. I love it. It almost makes me look like I have a bushy brow, which I can appreciate because it is very hard to make my brows look natural. Obviously because they're drawn in. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, what do you guys think? I know they're different. They're a little bit bold. They're a little bit thicker because of that pomade, but I like it. I like this product so very much. Let's go on Ulta and see how much I paid for it because I don't remember. I know that nothing is over $10, but let's just double check. Let's just double check. This pomade pencil, not my favorite. That's a pass. This I could probably work with, the micro brow pencil. I can use this to fill in versus that pomade pencil because it's just super creamy. You have to be very careful with using this. So, this was, so the pomade pencil was $3.49, and then the micro brow pencil was $2.99, da, da, da. and the eyebrow pen was $3.99. I will be repurchasing this many, many times over because this is amazing look at my brows i love it just clean it up a little bit and we are good to go all right we're gonna jump right into the eyes i don't have any new eye products because i didn't find anything that was like really jumping out at me as far as essence eyeshadows they have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and things like that that are really nice i've tried a bunch of them some of them were hits and misses um but this one i'm i am gonna use an essence palette but this is a uh, my must-haves palette and i created this palette like three years ago so I'm going to use this to create a look on my eye. Just very something very simple. It's very cool toned, very fall. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a quickie look off camera. I don't have an eyeshadow primer because I did have eyeshadow primers from them. And they were okay. They weren't the best. Um, I did use them for a very long time. But I found eyeshadow primers that I like more. So I'm actually going to use my P. Louise base to go ahead and clean up my brows and do an eyeshadow look. I'm going to put on some complexion products because they don't have any new complexion products for me. And then we will be right back to try out all the other stuff. Essence is a brand that um, if you want to start out in makeup, it's definitely a good brand to start out with. They have some really good products. You can try different things and see what kind of makeup style you like. Um, and that's how I came about finding out what was my makeup type like what do i like to do what do i like to play with and they are not going to break your bank 
you know like going into makeup and then like saying I want to go and I want to get like Urban Decay and I want to get Benefit and I want to get uh, Too Faced, Tarte, Estee Lauder, Lancome, It Cosmetics, like all those higher end brands. I mean, yes, it's nice to like get them and like play with them and all stuff like that. But if you can't afford them right off the bat, definitely look into this brand. Definitely look into Elf, into Wet n Wild. NYX is really another good brand. Morphe is another good reasonably priced brand bh cosmetics those were the brands that i started with i started with elf bh cosmetics and um essence then i kind of graduated uh, wet and wild also then i graduated to morphe and i graduated into nyx because they of course are a little bit more higher priced but still reasonably priced and good quality products so that's how I started. So I like that I can get a reasonably priced, good quality product. And ColourPop was another one. Before ColourPop was sold at Ulta, and all the brands that I just told you are sold at Ulta. So if you can't find them in your local, um, in your local drugstore, you can. Um, go to an Ulta and you'll find them there. Another reasonably priced, good quality brand is, um, I can't think of the name, Profusion Cosmetics. They have really good stuff as well. Um, just They have hits and misses too because I've had hits and misses in theirs, but they're a really good quality brand. Now my favorite part, eyeliner, because you know, I love eyeliner. All right, so we're gonna use the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. This is long lasting and waterproof. I love this liner so very much that I lent it to my son and he fell in love with it and I ended up having to buy him one because he's like, mom, this is like the best liner ever. It comes like this and you pop it off and it has like a little brush tip. I love brush tips versus felt tips. I think brush tips I just have a better control of. They don't skip as much, that's what it is. Let me create a wing and see if it's still as good as I think. It's been a while since I've used this. I have to get really, really in. Let's see. It's so black. We're gonna try and attempt to do a baby wing. You guys know that I'm not good at creating baby wings. It's just not my forte, I don't know why. I think it's because I have like a hooded eye and I feel like you can't see my wing. So I always have to do like an extravagant wing. Hmm, doesn't look bad. We're gonna keep it. but it was super easy to create, like so easy. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other one, and I will be right back. All right, so super pretty, I love it. This is as close as I can get them. So, I know, I got a little long, it is what it is. Now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite eyeliners. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This is in the color Black Love. I, look how little this pencil is. I used to use this pencil all, the time that's why it needs to be sharpened i'm just gonna sharpen this pencil really quick i love it it's so black it's matte it's nice it's creamy let's go in we're gonna do our tight line i'm not gonna do my water line because i'm gonna do a water line with a different color and i know that it's crazy because i do my tie line with black but for today i'm not putting any lashes on because essence doesn't have lashes that I saw. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our mascara. So they're known for their mascaras and I have put off trying this mascara for the longest time. This is the Essence Lash Princess. This is the Sculpted Volume Mascara. 
everybody raves about this line so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just beat the 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 bullet and go ahead and do it i'm just gonna buy it so oh it has a curved brush and i loved i love 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 when mascaras have curved brushes i dig it because that's like the best so yeah i really really enjoy this mascara a lot i think this might be a new favorite I like curved wands. I feel like it gets the lashes on the bottom like so much better. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. Like, do you see that? I like that a lot. And like I said, we're not doing any lashes today because Essence doesn't carry lashes. Like I said, that I know of. I didn't see them on their website. I didn't see it at Ulta. They only had those like individual ones. And I don't want those. All right. I'm going to go off camera, do my complexion, and I'll be back for bronzer, blush, highlights, and lower lashes. Okay, complexion products on. Now, I'm so excited. So we're going to bronze up our face. We're going to use the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. Look at this beauty. Like, do you see? So pretty. So I am already obsessed. This is in better than va va better than vacation tan. Like, super super cute. So I'm obsessed with their Sun Club bronzers. I have one that I already hit pan on, and I'm so excited to use this. So I think what I'm gonna do because I want to keep it like relatively very cool tone. I'm just gonna use this one right here and see how that one looks. If anything, I'll mix these two because these are a little deeper for me. But let's see, I'm gonna miss try this one first then if not mix the two and i love that it has a mirror that's like my favorite thing ever so i'll put it on my eco tools precision powder pencil or uh, powder brush and just take it up here Ooh, how pretty i think it's perfect their bronzer is like one of my favorite it was like one of my favorite it is actually very comparable to the physician's formula butter bronzers like it has like a nice coconutty scent these don't but the one that i'm telling you that comes single oh my god i love it Make sure we bronze ourselves up. Oh. I love products that are reasonably priced. This palette with these size pans and a mirror for $9.98. Yes, you heard me. $9.98. I am obsessed. Really do love this bronzer. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I dig it, I dig it. I like it a lot. It's very nice, very nice. Now we're gonna go in to blush. So for blush, I have two blushes. I've got, they're all both called The Blush. And this one's more peachy toned and this one is more like rosy mauvey toned. This one is Beloved and this one is Befitting. So I think I am going to use be fitting and these are silky smooth powder blushes that awaken the complexion i really enjoy their blushes i like their satin blushes i like their matte blushes and i haven't been putting it on my apple of my cheek i've actually been bringing it out and putting it like into my bronzer just kind of lifting my face a little and i think that i like that application so much better see how it just, just lifts my face and this color is just beautiful like, I kind of am placing it where I would place my highlight. It's so pretty. Like, dig it. Okay, just contoured my nose a little bit. We're going to go in and we're going to do our lower lash line. And I'm just going to mirror what I did on the top, which is just do 
this color on the outer corner and this one in the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. love warm tone makeup looks Dang. but everyone always says that i look super duper sexy in cool tone and i can see it i think it just makes my eyes look so much prettier um but i like warm tones i'm a warm tone girl i don't know why i just really i do i like warm tone i like the warm tones it's crazy And I'm going to take that bright color we are in the home should we use in the inner we're corner. We're going to do our highlight. Some of that. Um, so for highlight, I have another highlight. pure nude highlighting palette. And this Maybe. is mm -hmm. actually these blushes. I forgot to tell you the price on these. These are $2.99 each. This one is $9.98 as well. It comes with a mirror. It's super duper pretty. I think for this look, I want to go in with my, my gut is telling me to go in with this one. I think I'm just going to try that one just because I want to go against my gut. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and dip into here. And then just, it's a very subtle highlight. And I'm sure I can definitely, it's such a natural like glow. So I love these. It's perfect. You see that? And if I was to go ahead and like wet my face with the setting spray, I'm sure that I can intensify it. But I like to have like this natural effortless, effortless like glow. Like I didn't try too, too much. Alrighty, love this, I love this. I'm gonna put white on my waterline because I really want my eyes to look bigger versus like closed off. Let's see, let's this see. This is the see. Essence with cool Kajal tones, Pencil in white. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Pumping Nudes lip gloss. So let's open this one up and let's on like get a swatch of this. Lower line. This one is like, cause I feel very it cool gray tone. because I would like I think this black this is the perfect lip gloss to go with this this because these are a little bit more you know this one's like maybe I'll go with this one this is satin mauve it's probably like one of my favorite ones lip gloss to go with this this like lip look that we're doing so i think is right. filled in my lips i remember why i love these lip liners they're so creamy they are wooden pencils they actually came out with new pencils the ones that i okay. first purchased Sorry, were so here, the like wooden pencils but they have now long lasting lip liners the lip liner that i used was their just their essence lip liner it's just a regular lip liner so that's the wooden ones but they have the long lasting lip liners which are retractable and i have quite a few of those too I
they seem to have just the same ones. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and go and put on too. this um, Plumping Nude Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Big Softy. And I'm just gonna put that right in here. Pretty. It's, I think this one's just perfect. It says it's a plumping nudes lip gloss. I don't really that feel the plumping video, in it. So let's do the rundown on um, what I talk, like what little, I feel about tingle. all just these a little tingle, products. not too this much. Be video. Not what I was expecting. Like my Elf plumping lip gloss. Like I put that on and I feel the tingles right away. Like right away. It's my favorite plumping lip gloss of them all. And I mean, I haven't really tried very many. I should say the ones that I have tried. It is my favorite one. Okay, so let's start this off for eyebrow products. I mean, I kind of gave you my thoughts along the way. This is a pass. This, well, this I can use to fill in. This is a definite pass, but I'll use it up until whatever, but I will not be repurchasing. I won't repurchase this either. Um, I'll use it, like I said, to fill in, but it's not something that I would go out and buy again. Um, I just, I'm not comfortable with that product. Just my thoughts. Um, this, the eyebrow pen, I'm obsessed with. I'm going to buy more of these. I absolutely love it. I say yes, 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 yes. Go ahead and try this out for yourself. The super precise eyeliner, you guys know, is my favorite eyeliner. I love it. Look at my wings. I had to fix one. It got a little longer. It is what it is, but I love this liner. Yes. The Sun, Glo the Sun Club Matte bronzing palette and the pure nude highlighter palette i love them i absolutely adore so, them yeah, i think they're awesome. i recommend um 10 out of 10 price, you, try this. you get it's four pretty large favorite. hands and it has kind a of wand yes, it's curled please. it's pretty I it made my it very much um, so lashes look luminous and i like it lash princess now sculpted volume mascara for yes. the I lip products like which one. is the this most that i bought very nice i'm actually lip gonna products. put it on my lower the lashes three lip glosses so this I have the lip gloss on for a little while. I really don't feel a crazy little plumping effect. I feel a little, little, little light tings, not too, too much. If you're not into that like really strong plumping like sensation, then these are really, really nice. It's really nice and wet and glossy. I dig it. I enjoy it. But I dig this. I like it a lot. And that's it. That is all. I can I finished. I finished. Yay! That completes this video. If you guys enjoyed watching me try out these new products that I picked up from Essence. Essence is a really, really reasonably priced brand. I enjoy them. They have really good products, really good formulas. I would recommend them to anybody to try. Obviously, these are my opinions, and this is what I, I like. I already know what support. I like. And I will see yes. all you beauties in my Thank next video. Thank you so video. much for watching. I appreciate all the love Bye. and support. Please subscribe.